Hello. It's um, Thursday evening. This is Jacqueline with Creative Paper Crafting with Jackie. How are you? I hope you're having a nice evening. I have finally reached my 500 likes, so I um, am having my giveaway tonight. And I'm going to use uh, the Facebook random um, picker uh, from the comments. So this is what I'm giving away. I'm giving away this set of illustrators. It's six pieces, six pieces, uh, six markers. So I'm so excited and I'm hoping that you guys are excited too. So all you gotta do to win is, well, you gotta be the one that's picked, but you have to comment. It's from the um, Facebook random uh, comment picker. So I'm just trying to find my live on my um, computer. But I don't see it for some reason. But anyway, I'll get started. I'll get started. So, um, there it is. I see it now. So if you, um, let's see if, if, if I can see anybody on there or not. All right, so I'm going to get started. This image is Big Mushroom from Sheepski Design. And this is for the, they have a challenge every month. And this is for lots of layers. That's what I'm doing this one for lots of layers so i'm looking to see if um i have any comments i see sharon is watching hi sharon well sharon if nobody else got on right now you'd be the winner <laughs> okay i'm gonna get started this is the paper that i'm using so these are my um kind of color inspiration that's what i i really like the green so that's what i'm going with okay so I'm going to do kind of a mixture tonight of my markers. <clears throat> so, I am going to do his beard first because everybody knows that beards are my least favorite thing to do. So, I'm just pulling out my grays. I thought I had all my markers out ready. Um, here they are. Okay, so I'm going to do his beard first. So, I'm going to use a W. Zero, zero, and W2 for his beard. And I hope you can see okay. All I see is Sharon is on. Sharon says, hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. And um, so I don't see anybody else on. Make a, Do comment because if you comment, it gives you opportunities to win. So you want to comment. How about... My husband's upstairs playing the Moody Blues. I don't know if you can hear that. It's his favorite group. So I'm using the W00. So how about we start with where everybody is from. I'm in Southern Indiana. And um, Sharon is in Scotland. Scotland. Wherever, where is everybody else from? I see seven people are on, but I don't know who's on. I'm, I'm looking at my, I have my laptop, so that way I could do the comment picker. But I don't know if it's not letting me see the comments, because all I see is Sharon. Oh, Sharon says, what's your favorite song? Ooh, that's a good one. My favorite song is, um, it's an old one, is Morning Has Broken by uh, Cat Stevens. I was in love with Cat Stevens when I was a teenager, and I actually met um, at that time, his guitar player, he came to dinner, he went to school, my uncle, and because I was so in love with him, my grandmother had him come to dinner, well, had the guitar player, not Cat Stevens, but the guitar player come to dinner, so that was the closest I ever got to Cat Stevens, <laughs> but yeah, what is everybody's favorite song? What's your favorite song, Sharon? And everybody, you know, post what your favorite song is. Actually, I love music. W2. My husband loves the Moody Blues. And we used to go to a Moody Blue concert every year. I told him that eventually they'd be in walkers. Uh, as much as, you know, as old as they were getting. <laughs> but it's been a couple of years now since we went. But uh, even our wedding, we got married 12 years ago, was in the color of... It was in blue because of the Moody Blues. And our songs were from the Moody Blues that were played. Hi, June. Storms never last. Oh, that's good. That's good. Hi, Sharon. 
Hi, Karen. Oh, yeah. Everybody post your favorite song because I, I love to see what songs people love. There's lots that I li actually like. And, you know, um, if you know who John Cougar Mellencamp is, our music studio at VU was donated by him because he attended VU. So I'm just using the W00 and that was W2. And I'm just kind of going back and forth a bit um, with the between the two colors to do his beard. I don't want to do it um, too heavy. Beards are my least favorite thing. Uh, but I don't feel, I used to feel uncomfortable doing them. And I guess I don't feel so uncomfortable anymore. I was looking to see if I had another had a W um, maybe zero I'm sure I do I just um, don't have it handy because I be nice to have a little bit of um, an in-between so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my marker and I'm just going to touch the tips marry them together a bit so I'm going to take my lighter one see and touch my tip and then that way I can just kind of do a few I just want to do some strokes here so that way, um, kind of fill in his beard just a little bit, but I don't want it to be super, um, super gray. So there we go. That works. That worked. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So we got the beard out of the way. And now we will work on the hat. And again, this is the color, color scheme that I'm going for right over here. So I'll leave it there and then you guys can see it. So what is your favorite song, girl? Yeah, you guys aren't putting what your favorite songs are. When I was a kid, um, ABBA was very popular. I never really got into them, but um, ABBA was very popular. And I have friends to this day that just love them. I have a friend that she goes to concerts all the time. I'm gonna use my Bee Gees for the hat. So I'm just pulling that out because I love this blue. This kind of turquoisey blue. So I thought the BGs were the closest to it. So I'm going to use BG10, BG11, and I have a BG45 and a BG23. So I'm going to start with his hat. Oh, uh, Sharon loves ABBA. Yes, this is a sheep ski stamp. I love Andrea's variety. Of artwork she has a lot of variety and I love her artwork she has some really pretty images she has cute images she has one that I'm going to be doing for July that's a snowman that I just love so that's BG 10 I have another live planned and it's a a dog <laughs> but I'm gonna do this one for her so I love her stuff. So this is BG11. Actually, when I was a teenager, I loved Cat Stevens, but I also loved Alice Cooper quite a bit. And we lived in Germany. It was a two hour ride to get to school. And sometimes when we would get there, school would be canceled, but we had to sit and wait for the bus to come back and pick us up. So we could run around the city for the day. So we used to love it when suddenly the school was canceled. And we used to go hang out at a music store. And um, Alice Cooper was very famous in Germany when I was a teenager. I have a lot of memories of, of uh, that. And um, we used to listen to Richard Pryor when I was on the bus. Going back and forth. Like I said, it was a two-hour ride, so it was quite long. This is BG23, and this is a chow. And the ink is the same. See, it's the same, it's just that it's a little bit smaller. But they are cheaper to purchase. And they're refillable. Some people, I think at one time, maybe they weren't refillable, but they're refillable. So th that is a good way to buy markers if you want some and you can't afford the investment of the sketch. And see, this is a chow. That's not the one I want to use, though. I want to use the BG-10. So, BG-10. And I also have um, 
the originals. I'll show you those. The originals, I have just a few. There's kind of got a square barrel. And they're the same ink. And they're refillable, but they have the pointed nib. They do not have this brush nib. And you cannot put the brush nib in because the barrel is smaller. But that's another Copic marker if you do not like the paint nib. I actually got, I have four of them. I actually somehow ordered them by mistake, but I needed the colors and I just kept them instead of sending them back. It actually worked out well because when I first started doing hair, I actually, I found that they were quite handy for doing the hair. So, you know, it's kind of nice to have the variety. This is the um, BG23. The only thing about the chow, see it's not on the lid what you're using. But you could make a little dot in a um, picture number system. And I am kind of pointing up when I do this and doing little short strokes. All right. So we are wanting freedom is, so maybe that's why I, you wanted it Christmas? Hmm? Oh, Christmas song. Oh, you know what? My favorite Christmas song is, it's not because of the words, it's the music. I love Oh Holy Night. I love the tune of Oh Holy Night. And I just play that over and over again. I just love Oh Holy Night. And I know it's actually an older song and not um, Oh Holy Night is the older song. But I just love that, the instrumentals on it. Oh, A Wonderful World. Oh, that's good. Hmm. Yeah, music. Uh, I mean, there's lots of good music out there. Oh, what about concerts? What concerts have people gone to? I've gone to all sorts of concerts. One of my favorite concerts, this is going to show my age, um, was the Gap Band. Uh, oops, Upside Your Head. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very good concert. And I went and saw John Cougar Mellencamp. And that was very good. I've gone to Kansas. Uh, Sticks. I went and saw Sticks. Jackson Brown. I'm trying to think of all the different... I've been to a lot of concerts, actually. And that's something I've, I've been kind of lucky when I was younger to get to go to. So this is the R... 30 and I was using the E triple zero on his um, nose and he doesn't you know neither of them have a lot of skin so I'm not really worried about doing all the layers with the skin all right so I'm gonna do her hat and again um, see I'm, I'm trying to kind of use this as a guide so for her I'm using R81 and let me find my R85 there it is, R85. So this is what I'm using on her hat. So I'm going to go in with the R81 first, and just kind of, and then I'm going to make a third color with these because I do not have, <clears throat> I don't, I do not have something uh, to make a good blend with this yet. I buy a few markers a month, and. Um, so with this one, I just I don't have a third color yet, and that's how I buy my markers. I just buy a few a month until I get my whole set built up, and I have quite a few. I mean, I'm not complaining. I use the Copic app to keep track. It's a free app of the markers that I have, and it gives you color blends. It's a really nice app. So this is R85. Okay, let's see. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Um, oh, Sandra doesn't have any sound. Maybe if son somebody could type out for Sandra to refresh, you know, to get out and go back in so that she has some sound, maybe. So I'm just doing little sh uh, short strokes. See, just kind of short strokes to, because um, it's hard to blend a line and I'm not going all the way over I'm just picking up some of the color 
So that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm blending kind of up, kind of going up and then around, sort of following the hat. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna uh, touch my tips and I'm taking my lighter color with my darker color and I'm just touching the tip so I can kind of pull that out. There we go. And this is a way to make a third, kind of a third color when you do not have all the whole set. Or even if you had the whole set, it's a good way to make another color. So Now I'm just going over this lightly because I want a highlight. So that's what I'm doing there. There we go. So this gives us a nice little highlight. Then I'm going to go back in. I'm just going to kind of, just on the edge here, just a little bit. Yeah, my husband, uh, the only concert he has been to is the Moody Blues. <laughs> and he's got four brothers and an uncle that's his age. And they all love the Moody Blues. It's so funny. And they are a good band, but my gosh. There's more music out there besides the Moody Blues. Yeah, there we go. But, oh, that's why my wedding ring, see? has the blue because of the moody blues that's how much he loves them <laughs> i just think that's so funny all right so i'm gonna take my bg23 and i'm gonna go back in here just a little bit and just kind of put it around the edges here i just kind of wanted to let my paper uh, dry just a little bit before i added a little bit there we go so it's pretty bad that um, his, you know, he loves the band so much that that's how, that's why my wedding ring has blue on it. <laughs> but it's a pretty, uh, pretty ring. Oh, you love uh, Kenny Rogers. Uh, actually, Kenny Rogers is good. I'm just not much of a, a country music person. Um, it's just not quite my thing. Okay, so I'm going to use the BG. 10, but he is good. I'm going to use the BG10 and just kind of go in here. And, uh, so that she has an apron on. So I'm going to try to leave the apron alone for a moment. Just lay down a little bit of, of the color first ink so that I can <clears throat> blend. So I'm going to use my BG11 and my BG23. And kind of see, make it the opposite colors. So I'm just going to go in here, and this is a, a small space, so we'll see how much if I need all three colors or not. We'll see. So just kind of go in here. Actually, I love all sorts of music. There we go. I just showed to my class um, In Search of Sugar Man, which is a really, in that's a really interesting documentary. So I'm gonna use the BG23. This gentleman uh, became very famous in South Africa, but he lived here in the States and lived a very poor existence and didn't realize that he was so famous in South Africa. And that's a very, very good documentary if you ever, if you wanna watch something on YouTube. So this is my BG23. He has a very good outlook on life. Not bitter at all that he had a missed opportunity there. So I'm just going to come down and then I'm going to go back in again with my BG11. There we go. Been lots of wonderful free concerts that you can watch right now over YouTube um, since we've been kind of on lockdown. I don't know if anybody's been doing that or not. Lots of entertainers are putting on uh, free concerts. So this is BG45. I'm just going to kind of go down here, right in here, just doing it lightly. I have a heavy hand. I have what you call fat finger syndrome. I'm just putting a little bit so I can blend it out a little bit. My 
PG 11. There we go. Yeah, I'm sorry, I get a little quiet when I'm trying to work on something. All right. I think that emphasizes she's a little droopy. Here we go. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, and so now let's do her apron, and I thought that I would do that. Let's see, I'm trying to decide whether to do it in a darker green or the pink. I think I'll do the pink that matches her hat. That's what I think I'll do. I'm trying to decide, so I'm just going to do her collar and her apron. That's what I thought. Match her hat. There we go. A little bit more over there. I'm trying to catch um hope everyone is doing good. Yes, the um virus is scary. That's true. It is scary. In our state, I'm in Indiana, our state has opened back up and my husband had to go back to work and my son had to go back to work, so um I make them uh, take their clothes off and throw them in the, throw it all in the washer and then I wash their clothes and then take a shower before they come in and hold the baby. So I'm just a little bit worried about them being out and about and my husband's older. So I really am worried about it. I don't know. <laughs> lots, to, lots to worry about. And it was so quiet because uh, with those two gone during the day, it just makes the house so quiet even though I have two kids still here. And then tomorrow is my last day of the semester, you know, teaching at home. I am doing uh, one day a week of um, advising students during the summer over Zoom. So I'm going to be doing it, doing that for like four hours a day, one day a week on Wednesdays. But other than that, home with the kids. There we go. And the reason I'm picking these colors is to go with, see they have the red and the green, that bluish green. I just thought that kind of um, would look good. That's, that's my thinking on that. <clears throat> okay. So now we're going to do the shoes, and I am using W8, W6, and I had a W4 out, but I don't see where, oh, let's see, W7, pretty sure I had a W4 out, but, hmm, okay, so what I'm going to do is go in with this darker gray. And I don't know why, but I love these grays from Copic. I love them. They're warm grays, and I just, I love them. I don't know. The tone is nice. So I'm going to take my W7. And just kind of continue down. Normally, I actually do uh, the shoes in a lighter gray. But since I have the beard, I wanted something that was um, darker. That's why I'm using this color. Okay, so now I'm going to take my W6. And pull this down. There we go. And this doesn't take a lot because um, the shoes are kind of small. There we go. All right. <laughs> I've lost track of the comments because I've been busy. You know, the more you comment, the uh, more chances you have of winning, too. So, oh, hi, June. How are you? Gosh, we got quite a few people on. That's wonderful. I was so, so excited to get to my 500. I've been wanting to get to 500, you know, for a while. And uh, I'm just so excited. I just, uh, for me, that was a big deal. And it has taken uh, quite some time because I actually have had my 
Facebook page for a long time, but I wasn't as active as I am now. <clears throat> but for the last year, I've been pretty active. And hopefully, I continue to grow. It's just exciting. <laughs> All right, so now I'm using my W6. And I'm just... Uh, it's the same color. They, they both have the same color shoe, kind of keeping it simple here. There we go. All right. So we'll kind of let that dry just a little bit. Let's do her face and then we'll do her hair. And again, she doesn't have a lot of skin showing. So I'm going to just use the E00. Now I use the E000 on him. So I'm going to use this E00. She has a little bit more face, but not a lot. And these are his fingers right there. So I, that was my E triple zero. So now I'm going to use my E triple. That was my E double zero, rather. Now I'm going to use my E triple zero. So I want to have a little bit of difference in the color. I don't know if the camera really picks it up or not. There we go. Put a couple of layers because I think her face would be a little bit darker going this direction. And I'm going to use my R30. I don't know why. I just think gnomes should have a red, a red, um, you know, their nose a little red. There we go. I'm going to take my E triple zero again, or double zero. I'm going to go back in over here a little bit. Make this a little darker on this right in there. And um, right here, see she's got uh, dimples. I guess you'd say dimples. So I'm just kind of trying to make a little bit of a shadow. There we go. Now let's go back and put a little bit more on the tips of his fingers. Okay, now we're going to do her hair. And I thought I would use R35, R15, R38, and R17. So, four colors there. Uh, thank you, Jean. Hi, Dawn. I liked your uh, pictures of your walk yesterday. That looked like a lot of fun. I have uh, been debating about going on a walk with the kids. But my problem is um, my son's autistic. And he, you know, people have this vision that kids with autism... Um, are not sociable, but he's overly sociable. He doesn't have boundaries. And even if I explain to him that we, you have to keep a, a bit of a distance, I don't think he'd get it. I think it would be very hard to get him to stay put. So I've debated about going out for a nice walk at one of the parks, but I'm a little worried about doing it. Okay, so that was my R15. So I'm going to take my R17. And it's kind of a little bit, little bit. Don't really need a lot. Just little tiny strokes, a little bit more than I had um, this last time, and just kind of go down the middle of her braid. There we go. So Dawn, we were talking about our favorite song. What is your favorite song, Dawn? Let's see if she um, what her favorite song is. I'm going to, I'm going to guess it's something country. I don't know. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I was just going to guess it was something country. Okay, so now I'm going to go back with my R15 and just kind of real quick strokes here. I'm trying to give it a little bit of a highlight. And there we go. There we go. A little different for me to do. I don't do red hair a lot. This is the R35. Yeah, I don't do red hair as much. I tend to, to do more brunettes because I'm a brunette. Although, I, I don't know if you'd still call me a brunette because i got a lot of grays going on. There we go. I'm just doing kind of the edges. Just a little bit to add a little bit of dimension. Her hair. 
There we go. And I, I picked this color because of this kind of yellowy and right in here. So that's why I was picking that. Okay, so now we're going to do the mushroom. And this is lots of layers is the name of the challenge. This is my DT card for um, creative paper crafting. I'm kind of doing, this is not the one that I'm doing for my live, although I'm doing a live. Um, but this is one for um, our challenge coming up called uh, Lots of Layers on the Sheep Ski Design page. So I just thought, ah, I'll do a live while I'm doing it. All right, so for this, I, I wanted kind of um, darker to lighter. I don't know. I just had something in my head, and that's what I'm, I'm trying to go for. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to use lots of different greens. So I'm going to start out with GO2 and this G000. Let's see. I've just got lots of greens here. And so I'm just going to kind of go for it. Um, maybe it'll turn out okay. I don't know. Maybe it won't. But I just had an idea in my head, and I just kind of wanted to go for it. So this is a G12, GO2, and G00. I have YG63, YG03, YG67. I also have a few other greens. So this is what I was going to use. And I don't know. It's just something I kind of saw in my head. The paper is pretty paper. Um, I don't know what the pack is. I'm just about out of this pack, but it is pretty paper. That is the only thing I am. Um, I don't go shopping very much, I'll be honest. I'm not a big shopper. I love e Echo Park paper. Saunders sent me a whole bunch of beautiful paper that I've used on many, many of my lives. But I do miss the ability when I am, um, when I go to Evansville, which is about an hour away, if I go to, for one of the kids' appointments, stopping at Tuesday morning and grabbing some paper. Uh, YG63. You know, I haven't done that. Well, actually, the Tuesday morning isn't even open. Um, haven't done that now um, in months, even before the uh, state closed. Uh, so I do miss that, because I do love... I think we all love paper, don't we? It's probably our downfall as crafters. Although I do use my paper. I don't just um, put it away and never use it. So I do use it. And I love it. So this is my YG03. And sometimes I go lighter to darker. And sometimes um, I start with my dark. Just depends what I'm, I'm wanting to achieve. I'm just kind of pulling this out. Because I just had this in my head of different shades of green on this. So I'm kind of taking a chance. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. You know, have, have some fun. So I'm going to go back and forth. And this is Copic Express paper that I'm using uh, tonight. So it's got more of a white. You know, it's got a nice white background. Okay, so now I'm going to use my um, G02 over on this other side. So I'm just going to kind of bring this over and see it's quite a bit different color. But it's just something I kind of envisioned, so we'll see how it works. And this card um, is called Lots of Layers, so I actually have a couple of more. Um, this is, a, I guess, a mushroom. And I have a couple of uh, told stools that I printed up to that I that, that won't take long to color that I'm going to use. Here in southern Indiana, people go mushroom hunting. It's a big thing to do, mushroom hunting. I don't know if I've lived in a lot of places, a lot of states. And this is the only state that I know of that that is a big thing to do, mushroom hunting. So do you guys, do they do that? Ooh, baking a lot. See, I have ADHD, so I'm jumping from thing to thing. So do you guys do a lot of um, mushroom hunting in your states, or is that not a thing? Because really, I never noticed it until I moved to this state, how people go. And I don't even, I, you know, I, I'd be afraid to eat them, but people love them. 
Okay, so that's my G12. And then I'm going to use my G000. So June says she's been baking a lot. Oh my gosh, I have been too. Yeah. That's my wrong one. Um, I've been baking a lot. Oh my gosh, I've put on some weight. And I have got to... Uh, I've got to do something about it. <laughs> I had a hard time um, getting flour. And then once I got... Once I was able to finally get some flour... Gosh, I'm going crazy now. Okay. Now, I know this is a lot of different greens. I'm not going to keep it this way. I'm going to blend them together a little bit. But I just um, kind of saw this in my head that this would just go from a darker yellowy and then into a green. So that's what, what I'm working on. And um, and I'm, I have been told that my head's a scary place. And it might be. <laughs> but I feel like this is fantasy. And so this mushroom would um, be more colorful. Okay, so that's my G triple zero. So I'm going to go back in with my YG00. I'm just going to kind of do little, little, um, see strokes, kind of pull it out. There we go. And then cover, bring this out and see that kind of brings it together. It gives us some different color greens in this mushroom. There we go. There we go. All right. And then underneath his feet and her feet, kind of make it a little bit of a shadow. All right. Now that's what I wanted. I wanted it to look, I didn't want it to all be one color green. So I'm going to go back in. And I'm just going to do the edges over here. Kind of add my shadowing last. Around his feet. I'm being quiet, I know. I'm going to blend that out just a little bit. Okay. Now, take my uh, YG63. Kind of blend this one out. There we go. And then continue around by her feet and around. There we go. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cast a shadow. There we go. So now I'm going to go back in and just kind of pull this down. So I don't want a hard line. And then I'm just kind of going around again. There we go. Long strokes again. Pull this down. And down. Okay. There we go. I want differences in the green. All right. So now I'm actually going to switch gears and use my illustrators. So I'm going to use IB1, IB2, and IB3. And this is for this speckled place. So this is IB3. So I'm just going to go in here. And the more you guys comment, the more chances you have of winning. Because tonight I have my drawing for the reaching 500 likes. So um, wood, they are really good. That's what they hunt in Indiana. Yes. Mushrooms are what they hunt in Indiana. It's so funny. And I used to teach over in um, Illinois, and they do deer hunting, but there was a day that the whole college shut down. It was the opening of deer season, and, the, and it was a day off from college. I was like so shocked that they would actually close the college for opening day of deer hunting. I just thought that was so funny. 
So it's just funny, uh, each state is so different than each other. So this is the blue, and I'm using the blue because of the flower. I just kind of thought that would, um, I don't know, would work well together. And the image is rather whimsical. <laughs> so I thought, I just, I don't know. In my head, like I said, my head can be a scary place. I just felt like this was, um, would be a cute, cute color to use. So I'm kind of doing two of them at a time. That's my IB3. Then I'm going to go with my IB2. Um, and see, this has an, a, a painter's nib on it because it's been replaced. And then this is the illustrator. And just kind of pull that out. So then let's do this one. I'm going to go ahead and use my lighter color. Because I want them to all look a little different from each other. I'm going with my IB3. Kind of pull that out. Then we'll go with the IB2. There we go. And I generally put two coats on. Let's go through these again real quick. Yep. So, a little bit. A little bit more. Now we'll, we'll do several of them at one time. So, IB2. Did Dawn ever say what her favorite song was? I, I missed it. Yes, she did. I was trying to... While you are... Whoop, while you're getting an awesome smooth blend. <laughs> I love my... Um, well, I love alcohol markers. I'll be honest. I'm addicted to alcohol markers. If I could have every brand there is, I'd probably have all of them. Because I also... I have a few of the Prisma colors. I love those. I have the uh, a few of the Dick Blicks because that's what I started with and I love those. So I love alcohol markers. Sorry my hand's probably in the way. There we go. All right. So let's come down here and I, I am putting two coats here but I um I don't want them exactly the same color because I want these lighter than those. All right, so now let's do the <clears throat> this bottom part. And so I'm going to go in. This is YG67, and I'm just doing this underbelly part right here. And let me, I'm going to turn it so I can get in here. So this would be darker. And there we go. Okay, so that was my YG67. <clears throat> then I'm going to go in with my... YG 63 and do this part of it. I'm kind of go underneath here and over here to the side just doing little strokes and then we're gonna I think I'll probably do a uh, blue in there. So that was my YG 63. I'm gonna go in with my YG03 and kind of pull this out. I'm just trying to make this a fun, fun mushroom. And pull that out. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take my YG63 um, and kind of marry it together. Just kind of go like that. I didn't go all the way to the edge. Now, I, I want this lighter, so I'm going to uh, find a scrap piece of paper here, say, and just kind of color that off, get that dark off. There we go, because I wanted it back to being light. There we go. Then I'm going to go back again, and just kind of go a little bit right in here, a little bit down here. Just want some um, shading. And here we go. So, oh, hi, Gail. Sorry. Let's see. Oh, how are you, Gail? I have been watching your lives. You um, have some of the cutest stamps. I love them. I'm going to go back in with my IB3. And I'm doing right in here. 
I'm just going to come around. You know, Gail is very, very talented. I love watching her lives. So that's my IB3. I'm going to take my IB2. And I'm not going all the way to the end. I'm just picking up a little bit of that color and coming down and going over it a couple of times. And then I'm going to take my IB1. And I didn't go all the way back. Again, just like that. Okay. So there we have it. Now that's one. I cut out. Now these are not part of Sheepski. This is Sheepski. And we're going to make a card with it. But I cut these off the internet. Uh, cut them off the internet. Printed them off the internet. Printed them off the internet. Um, they, were, they were free. And I thought I would... Because this is lots of layers. Lots of layers. <laughs> so I'm going to use... BG11, BG10 on one of them. I was trying to find a uh, another BG. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Actually, I'm going to use my LG. I'm going to use my LG1. Here we go. LG2 and LG3. So these are illustrators. So that's what I thought I would do. And these won't take too long. So I'm just going to kind of I wanted them to be um, slightly different. And come down here. And these were just free digi images that I'm going to put with the sheepski one on the card because it is lots of layers. Lots of layers. And you could actually, really what I would have normally done is in Word, if you have a PNG file, you can put your images all together and uh, build a scene. And that is something I would have done, but since this challenge is lots of layers, I uh, didn't want to do that. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go back over it again. Down here where the grass is. And I'm, I know I'm moving a little quick on this one, but I don't normally color several images. But since the challenge is lots of layers, I wanted to have more layers. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just pulling that out. And then I'm going to take my... Actually, that was my light. Take my light. There we go. All right. So now, let's take the darker and go underneath. And I'm see, I'm doing it several times. Because I want the underneath to be darker. So I'm just using the one marker in just several times, okay? Building up the layer, and then I'm coming down with it. So I'm just kind of building up this layer with the darker color. All right. And then I'm going to do my LGB2 and come around. I'm going to go up here to the top. And pull this out. Um, still learning. Practice, practice. Oh. No, don't ever give up on coloring. Just keep working on it. Just uh, color, color, color. You don't have to color. Um, you don't have to even make cards. Just color, color, color. Just practice, practice, practice. That's all you have to do. And to be perfectly honest, uh, Doing a little bit of coloring every day for just maybe 10 minutes really is the best thing you can do. Because when I go through two or three days without coloring, I have to sit and just color. I can't just um, get back into it. I have to kind of sit and play with it a little bit. Because, um, I don't know, it just, it just takes practice. So it's not something you can just kind of put down and come back to two or three months later. You have to practice again. It's similar to really reading or anything, math, any of those things you do. When you get away from it, your skills go down. You notice it a lot with math. Your skill set will go down. That's why uh, parents will say, oh my gosh, I can't do this math that my kid's doing. And it's because actually there's a place in your brain that shuts down in the back of your brain. And that's and it happens with reading. It happens with anything. And that's how uh, teachers can determine if 
a child is a poor reader or poor in math is if they work with them every day and it opens back up and their skill set comes back well then they were just a poor reader or poor in math but they can work on those skills and it's the same thing with coloring you have to be active to keep it going so I'm just kind of going in because I want some shading coming around here I give this lecture to my students all the time trying to get them to read but um, you know it's not gonna happen <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go back in with my IB, and then we'll do the little mushroom. My IB one, so this time I am doing the lighter color, starting with the lighter color first. You know, this is just whimsical. Mushrooms and toadstools would not be uh, green and blue. <laughs> just having some fun to go with my paper. Uh, just do like half the circle, half the circle, and half that circle, and then I'm going to go in with my IB2, and then this is kind of a good way for you guys to see that the inks work well together. You can use your illustrators, you can use your uh, Copics, they go well together. Alcohol inks will blend and work well together. This way you can see use whatever you have do not be afraid to use what you have i'm gonna go back in again a bit more and don't be afraid to use what you have get it out in color i said i started with my um dick blicks but the truth is actually i started with um coloristas i forgot about that i used to do coloring pages um from crafters companion and i had bought this set of coloristas which I really love okay I'm gonna go in with my YG 03 see and it's a Copic and just kind of come around see I'm laying this right on top of my um, illustrators so they the ink does work well together I just wanted to have bring in this kind of um, I don't know what you call that kind of a citrine so it's a yellow green, kind of a citrine green. Just wanted to bring that in. A little touch of it. So that's why I'm I'm doing it. Kind of go nicely with our other mushroom here. There we go. I think that came out okay. Okay, so now we're gonna do this toadstool. And for it, let's see if I have something a little different. Let's go with this G. Zero, 00 so it's a lighter green I'm gonna just put a light coat on first to kind of get my paper wet just kind of come around and we'll build up our layers on this one and so this was my G00 so I'm going to go with my I have a G02 out here so let's go with it Let's just kind of bring that, there we go, bring it out to the sides and we'll kind of blend it together. So I want to have a difference between the two greens since they're on top of each other, basically. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm just kind of come down and up where the grass is and come around. There we go. Now. I'm going to go again, oxygen. I'd be singing, citrine green, you are so fine. <laughs> That's cute. Just kind of pull this out. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two colors and I'm just going to marry them together and go underneath and then kind of down the side. And around here and pull this like that then I'm going to take this marker and uh, here it is wipe it off I've got my scrap paper here I'm just going to kind of wipe it off pull it over there we go and let's just do a little smidgen more There, 
Okay. Now, put the right lid on the right thing. Let's do our little dots. And I'm going to go back to my IB2, IB1, and IB3. And I'm looking for it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so let's just kind of go in with the lighter color. And then the uh, three. Put it down here. And a little bit around here. And then our two. Just kind of laying. I think when you put at least two layers of ink on, it just kind of helps. There we go. Now I'm going to take my LG3 and just kind of go down and around, which is the color that you know we've used on this other one. I just want to bring it in just a little bit. And see, you can see that the um, alcohol works well together. It's fine. Now I'm going to take my, um, let's see, I'm kind of jumping around, I know. Okay, I'm going to take my G03, which is a Copic, and just kind of do my grass right in here. And I'm not being terribly careful because the greens can kind of um, touch and blend. It's okay. And this is actually going to be behind the image a bit. Now I'm just going over it a couple of times uh, sporadically because I want it to be a little darker. All right, so that's one image. See, we have, we have our two images there. I've got one more. I'll do it really quick. And we'll have our drawing as soon as I get my card done. It will not take long. So for this one, let's, um, let's see. Let's kind of do it in, let's take our G. Zero, zero. Let me find it. I'm kind of going backwards now. Oh, I know. Let's do it. Let's do AG. Let's use our AG1. Let's do that. So this is AG1. So I'm going to make this one a different color green. Okay. So I'm going to pull that. Just kind of come over here. And I'm going to do it very quickly because I want to put the card together and get my winner for having my 500 likes. I have over 700 followers. I have lots and lots of followers. I wish I had that many likes. I don't know why people follow and not hit like. I don't know um, what the reasoning is behind that. But I sure would like to have that many face likes. Because my next goal, I'm at 500, so my next goal will be um, 1,000. 1,000, because I don't want to keep bugging you guys. So I'll make it 1,000. And then we'll have a, um, I'll have a giveaway then too. So this is my AG2. And by then, stores hopefully will be open and um, can have something, you know, I don't know, maybe a die set, a stamp and die set. Might, that might be a good prize. Something, uh, that's what I had from when I very first started out was a stamp and die set. So maybe that's what we'll have at a thousand. So, sorry. So this is my A3. I'm just kind of going around and it comes together. Oops. Oh no, that's right. That's right. Sorry. I was thinking that was a circle. I was like, oh no. Here, let's go around here. And now let's go back to our AG1 and just kind of pull this out. There we go. Pull it out. And then we'll put a little bit more of the AG3. And I just, I, I don't know, I like to have these all be little different greens. Okay, put that in there. But I want my dots to remain um, blue. So we're going to go back in with this darker color. Just kind of go around the edges. Sorry, my big old fat hands are in the way. There we go. And I'm using the, um, is that called the bullet tip? Because it puts a concentrated amount. Okay, and we're going to come up and come around. And then I'm going to use my AG1. And I'm just kind of pull that out. There we go. 
You just kind of play with it to get the shadowing where you want when you're happy with it. We're going to add the blue and then we'll probably go back and add a little bit more green. Because I, this uh, pen seems a little dry. There we go. Now let's, I said I was going to go to the blue, but I fibbed. I'm going to go back to the AG2 and kind of bring, while the ink is wet, and bring that around. Seems to be a big difference in this green from each, you know. It's not subtle. <laughs> it's not subtle at all, the, the difference in the two shades. There we go. Okay, let's bring in our blue in just a second. Okay, now blue. So I'm going to use my IB2, IB3, and IB1. And I don't see my IB1. Oh, here it is. So I'm going to lay this down first. I'm zipping through this image, I know. Let's do our IB3. And I just kind of do half circle. Do ha half circle, half circle. Oop, sorry. And then I'm going to bring my IB2. I have a cute card that I'm I blog I'm blogging about tomorrow. It's really cute that I completed. Really cute. I can't wait to show you, but I can't do it until tomorrow. Okay, so let's take our YG03 and kind of bring this in. So that way we have a little bit more shading. And kind of go around. And go around my circles. Oop, I left one of the circles circles didn't I okay I just wanted a little bit there let's take my this one here there we go and then we'll do this little mushroom in just a moment and bring that out here. and then back to my IB one there we go so you know um, let's do this um, yellow Let's bring in this because I want a little bit more, just want a little more depth to it. I just don't feel like that green had a lot of depth. I want a little bit more. So I'm just kind of going around and you can go around your images as many times as you want. You might have to let them dry a little bit, which is okay. That's okay. Just feel like it doesn't have a lot of oomph to it. So I'm going to add a little bit more. So that was my LG. Two. So let's pull this out. There we go. Pull it out a little bit. All right. So now let's do this one in this LG to kind of tie it together since I used it. And this is very small. I printed this one up at two inches. So I'll take a moment. So we're just going to kind of go in here. I've kind of lost track of my comments. I hope somebody is answering any questions. Let's see. Um, we keep meeting up. Jackie Looper keeps meeting up. Ooh. Are you meeting up with somebody good? <laughs> there we go. Everybody that's on the live is good, aren't they? All right. So now let's go in with our blue. And this is smaller, so we're not going to need as much. So I'm going to start with my two. I'm just going to lay down some color. I think this blue is so pretty. And then I'm going to go with my three. Make this one darker over here. A little bit here. There we go. So you just don't need quite as much. And then I'm going to go in with my LG3 and get underneath. Because it's going to be darker. And come down the side come up around there we go we want some shading we just don't need quite as much and I'll take my pull this out pull that out a little bit and I'll go in with my LG one then we'll do the grass but you know what I don't remember it was a G, I don't know if that was a G3. We want the grass to be the same color and I didn't really pay attention to what I did it. I think it was G3. Did anybody notice? 
Oh, I hope it was G3. Hmm, I think it was. Let me find it. Oh, goodness. I should have put it off to the side, and I didn't. Let's see. I have all my markers right here, so it should be right here. I'm pretty sure that was G3. But, of course, now I can't find it. <laughs> hmm. Let's use, let's just see. Let's do this. Yeah, see, it's not this color. But let's put a layer down. And uh, then we'll get another layer. Because really, I think the grass should pretty much be the same color. But I, for whatever reason, I don't know where I put that marker. So this is G12. Yeah, see, it's lighter. It's not that color. But that's okay. We're just going to have grass be two different colors. There we go. All right, so here's our images. And we're going to put this all together. And this is called Lots of Layers. Lots of Layers. So hopefully uh, I didn't knock all my layers off where I can't find them. All right, so this is the card base. This is the card we're using. And let me get everything out. I did have everything nice and ready to go. And then I closed my book. All right. So it's a six by six card. And I've already cut my paper. So we're going to use, say I left an eighth of an inch all the way around. And I'm going to use my new glue, which this is this barely art glue. So we'll see, because I haven't used it now for a couple of days. We'll see if it comes out okay. Um, so put this little, you take this green top off. If I can get it off. Oh, I did get it off. Okay, there we go. So we'll see how it does. Now, I am going to, let me zoom it in. Hi, Christine. Hi, Cheryl. Let me zoom in. I've gone up. Oh, my goodness. It came back on. came back on. Let me bring it up a little bit. I don't, you're going to go black in a moment because there is a bit of a lag. All right, so you put this lid on. We'll see how it works. See if it comes out. Oh, and it's not coming out. So we have this really long needle. And you just can clean it. And we'll see how it works. Yep, it came out. So that works pretty good. And this is this new glue I bought. Barely art. I ordered it online. Because I was out of my art glitter glue. And I couldn't get it shipped here because of the time of year. So we'll see. I'm just going to put this on. Kind of eyeballing it. There we go. I think it's such a pretty paper. Now, I have my sentiment. Let me find it. If I can't find it, we'll make another one real quick. Because what I did is I was looking for a paper before the live. I had everything out. <laughs> then I moved my sentiment. Big mistake. So, I want to put my sentiment on because, um, yeah, we'll, we'll redo the sentiment right now. See, I've already got the hole. So, let's, do, let's make a new sentiment because I don't see what I did with it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paper and... Um, let me get my stamp. I have it right here. And then we'll have our drawing. And I have, I had, I think, Hello Friend. I think that's what I had on mine. Um, my stamp should be right here. It should be. But I don't see what I did with it. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to stamp this. I have it on the back of a block. I'm just going to stamp it, and this is uh, Memento ink, and I'll just lay it down here. Let's see if it comes out okay. I'm just pressing down. It's upside down. Hello, friend. That's fine. Now, I have a bad habit. I get ink on my hand, so let me uh, wipe my hands before I do this. I'm going to take this, 
and cut it. I often use the paper that I have used for my card for my sentiment anyway, so this is okay. Now, on the other one, I had more of a, um, I had a banner, and this one I do not. I do not have a banner, but that's okay. Let me show you what I do. Hopefully I've got more of this paper around. Oh, here it is. So I have the paper. What I do when I do my sentiments a lot is I take the paper and I take my glue like this and I glue it down. And this is called lots of layers, so that's why, you know, I'm matting everything. So I put this on and then I try to very carefully to cut. Now I had, um, actually had little, you know, the V on it, but I don't have that on it this time, but that's okay. So now I'm going to take my crocodile. Now that is my I'm not sure where I put my, oh, here's my crocodile. See, I've already got a hole in it here. So I'm going to take my crocodile. And I want to make sure that my words are not covered up. So I'm going to go off to the side. There we go. Now I'm going to take a brad. And grab one of my brads. Let's see. I know I have one right here someplace. Okay, here's a brad right here. So let's take, I don't know, take a green one or blue. Let's do the blue. Let's do the blue. So we'll put it in and bend it. Oh, don't want to bend it back yet. Put it through. I already did the, did the hole here because I'm really bad about lining up my holes. So we'll put that on. All right, so this is going to be our next layer. And we're going to pop this up a bit. So I have this adhesive tape. Put this on it. And so I've got a little bit extra. No problem. Put that like right there. Take this one. Kind of running out of adhesive. Uh, I have some foam fun foam and I could just glue it down is what I thought I would do we uh, got a Hobby Lobby here and it was only open for three weeks before they had to shut down because of the virus so we don't have any place I don't know if it'll open back up to be honest okay here we go just pull this off Ooh, I'm so excited I can't wait to do my um, drawing we're almost there, and I'll be picking. I'm going to use Comet Picker. Comet Picker. And it's open internationally. I will mail those markers out to whoever wins. There we go. I'm going to put this down. And we'll just kind of eyeball it. And this is my DT project for um, the lots of layers lots of layers so what i thought is i would have these behind kind of like that I'm just trying to maybe like that I put this here i have i don't like it to be matchy match so i might do it like that have it like that so that way this one's kind of behind it and you can kind of see it what do you think like that the only thing is I wish the grass, maybe I'll put these two together. I wish the grass was a little, you know, all the way across. That's what I could have done. Okay, so I'm going to do it like that. All right, so I'm going to take uh, the end of my adhesive here and cut it. And just kind of put it here. I'm trying to do it quick because I want to do the comment picker to pick some a winner. And you guys have been hanging out a long time. Yeah, I'm at the tail end of my adhesive, so I'm just kind of using what I got. <laughs> it's called, uh, 
know, making do. So that's what I'm, I'm trying, making do. All right, so let's take this off, put it on. Yeah, you know what I need? I might add after the live is a layer of grass. That might look be better to have a layer of grass down here. So I'm gonna put this over the top. Yeah, so I might do that after the live. I won't I won't make you guys endure that. But a jagged layer of grass, maybe. Because this is for my DT project for um supposed to be lots of layers. All right, so I'm going to put this on, and I want to pop that up a little bit more, and I have some more adhesive little bits right here. Let's see if I have any that's any good. Okay, here we go. So this is a little bit thicker. I'm just going to spread it out, and a little bit more it's so funny because at first I was intimidated by gnomes and now I seem to do gnomes quite a bit but at first I wasn't sure if I could do them I'm trying to get one more piece I'm, I'm using my uh, scraps or well uh, using my little scraps but I don't have any more I guess okay so I'm gonna pull this off and this is thicker than the other ones Oh, I've got a couple more things I'm going to put on here, and then I'm going to pick my person, my winner. There we go. So I'm going to put this on, and then I think it needs a little bit more. Let me see if I can find one. Here's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to take, this is what was stuck to the side of my bag. I'm going to take two and put them together. Because I want it taller. See, this one side is needs to be up. So let's put that like that. There we go. There we go. So then I cut out with a punch. I had a little tiny punch um, like this. Just a little tiny punch. These little butterflies. So we'll put these on. And what I did is I, I just kind of bent the wings up. See, just kind of bent the wings up to give it a little bit of movement. There we go. My husband's doing the dishes. I'm sorry. So there we go. This is lots of layers. So uh, one, so we got one, two, and we got the sentiment. I've got my uh, toadstools and my mushroom. So I think it's got quite a few layers. I don't know. I don't know if you, do you think this is qualifies for lots of layers? Okay, I'm going to take off this lid here and drop it in this container and drop my pin in and um, see, comes with these two different ends. Close it up before I lose it and put this lid on and have it for the next time. I think that worked real well. Okay, so I'm going to take my laptop I have it here off to the side and pick a winner so we have let's see we have 14 people still on and I'm going to use comment picker so that is what I'm using let's see 